does it matter the venue or do you guys have the same energy wherever you guys go? Mm, well, Even if you're playing in like a small basement, will you, will you still give this the the same show that you would in, yeah. a, in a bigger mm-hmm. venue? Even at practice, we put on a yeah, yeah. We, we yeah, go, yeah, we do. I think we go crazier in practice than on live. I don't know. Yeah, we do. why, why is that? Well, we no. have these almost workout aerobic type of uh, jams sometimes <laughs> in practice, like <laughs> getting low on the floor and then popping back up. You know, it's crazy. And you wouldn't think Ozzy of doing jump. that? I don't know. The, the Ronnie yeah, James the Dio Ozzy jump and the out. Dio jump, yeah. And then, then me on the drums, you know, I, like, I just like ran a million miles. The crazy head yeah. banging, <laughs> the, crazy the, crazy, head banging. the crazy shredding that happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's insane. Live, nobody, it's all about the audience on live. Nobody ever That's sees what happens behind the scenes. Yeah. So, but we should make it behind the it's scenes. It's all up to the crowd to make us go crazier. If they make us go, then then maybe we'll you know, yeah, do I mean, some crazy stuff. Crowd response. If if there's crowd response, we can feel that energy up on the stage. There's more energy. Yeah. So oh, yeah. so that brings me to the question: What's your favorite part about performing? Would it be the ener- uh, the energy of the crowd or yeah, definitely playing for people? Is yeah. Playing amazing. The escape. Having other Strange. people share that. Yeah, I don't know. Pretty much seeing like ten thousand different emotions in the crowd go off at once is pretty intense. To have people show up and watch us is in fun. It's pretty that's, good. That's pretty cool. If people make it to watch us, it's awesome. If people are actually in the crowd, like enjoying it, and you can actually see it, and you know we're feeding off of it, that's uh-huh. even better. People actually pay to see us. That's pretty. So awesome. do you have? <laughs> yeah, that's uh, pretty weird. When it comes to fans, are there more girls? Yeah, tons uh, of girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I would. Think I'd rather so. have that yeah. than a bunch of sweaty dudes jumping around on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, uh, it's sexy. You know? And age-wise, do you think there's a, a wide yeah. range of people who listen? Definitely. From from what we've seen from the past couple of gigs, the last gig we played at uh, Crossroads for the Battle Finals, we um, we spanned about forty different generations. generations, like from kids. From like kids yeah. in their young teens to uh, people that were in their sixties. And what about what about your parents? What, what what do they think about um your music? <laughs> uh, my mom is like almost like a coach. She tells me what you know. You should no, don't do this. You should try to do that. And she tries to come up with cover songs, and I just tell her shut up. But, uh, but for the for the most part, are they supportive? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. Do, well, are so. they telling you? You know what? Quit the band no, crap. No, no, Go no. study to be a doctor. No. My mom does. No. Yeah. I don't, my mom. Yeah. Like, no, that's more Randy's mom. Yeah, that's that's the most my strict. My mom is like the, the, mom the, the strict. Oh, I want you to be a, lo- a liar. A lawyer. <laughs> a liar. <laughs> Same thing. A professional liar. Professional liar. That's what a lawyer really is. Uh, yeah. A doctor. That is true. Or like yeah. something like yeah. something you know, like the inf- infamous firefighter thing or something like that. She just yeah. wants the you to American be dream. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. American, dream. American dream. My yeah. American. My vision of the American dream is being behind the set playing on freaking. Ten thousand people or something. That's yeah, a, that's, that's an American dream. dream. Yeah. My mom's just go for it. You know, if it makes me happy, do it. She's not gonna say no. She's not gonna bust down. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Mr. Um, yeah, my my parents have been really supportive. I'm pretty happy about that. Cool. Uh, in terms of music, I mean, my my grandmother, uh, she's played piano all her life professionally, and she's she's a teacher also for forty five years. Oh wow. It runs she was in his teacher. blood. Yeah. But um, other than that, there hasn't been many musicians. I mean, my my my, pal, my mom and my sister played piano, but not anymore. Oh, and I really? kind of just uh, does that bump you up. out in some way that they don't play anymore? Uh, no. I mean, I tell them it's a you know it's a good thing if they did, but it's you know it's whatever. I guess. I mean, I'd like to see them play more, but it's not something that's going to really affect me either. Wise, but the influence was definitely there to begin with yeah. as a child. But um, yeah, I think. In, in terms of our music, I think that's one of the cool things is, you know, I think there's something for everyone in our music. We really try to capture the likes of, you know, uh, you know, Different someone's dad and, the, yeah, you know, their their son or daughter, too. So That's the interesting point of that is that <clears throat> our parents come to see us play and and yeah. they like they actually enjoy it. I don't like for bands that just, you know, scream and make a bunch of noise. I don't think their parents are well, coming to check them out. Not just their know. parents, because most kids, you know, their parents are going to parents are supportive they're going to be there no matter what yeah, the music yeah. But yeah it's not true. the the parents but we have older people sorry i don't mean to to more mature, more, mature more mature audience, audience. Older, exactly older, older than the norm yes. yeah, yeah yeah definitely yeah that's um you know, we have people in their 40s at our shows yeah and, I, and i've seen it. it you know i've been to your shows and i've seen yeah which is cool. 40 year olds and older yeah. and like listening to your music knowing the songs um I play your demo at my house all the time. One day, me and my mom and my dad, we're all cleaning, and I'm playing your music. And my mom, at first, 
first didn't even think that it was Franco singing. Cleaning you know, music. yeah. She's like, <laughs> she's like, what band is this? And I told her, and she's like, wow. And then she's like bragging to my father about it. <laughs> she's like, oh my god, this is Franco. And she's like, oh, you remember Alex is playing the guitar? You know, so it's 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 fun to see you know families of of fans and just everyone coming together to make it one big snake heart family. Mm-hmm. I think it's really cute because I love the energy I see at your shows from the fans. I think you have some pretty dedicated fans. We, we have yeah, yeah, we, we pretty yeah. much have our own version of the Kiss Army. Yeah. Yeah. If it wasn't if it wasn't for them we would not be doing this. Yeah. So yeah. we gotta thank everybody for Definitely. if you're listening to this or voting for us for the yeah. past contest and the uh, a million the, thanks. We, we get that we get a twenty five city US tour and just thank you guys for voting as so, much as you did. But be yeah. prepared to vote again come January. Yeah, it'll come soon again yes. yeah. So uh, tell the viewers and who's ever listening why they should listen to your band. You should listen to us because (laughs) we're the best thing that ever hit Earth. No, No. um, why should you listen to us? Why should they listen to us? You don't have to listen to us, to be honest with you. I I really couldn't care less, but (laughs) it would be nice if you did. (laughs) I mean, if you guys want something a little bit different, break away from the heavy, the screaming that's been out every day today, your (laughs) poppiness. You know, if you want your poetry and your rock and roll combined, listen to us. That's that, no, that's, poetry, that's yeah, that, that works. Poetry, that works, rock yeah. and roll. Yeah. I, I can see that. I think the purpose of our music to begin with is to have different people listening to us. Yeah, and have a good so time while doing it. I think, in all seriousness, and be that's, the defenders of the faith. Defenders so. of the faith. Give, give us a listen. Check us out. That's a good one. Okay, um, let's we'll get into the, guitar gods. the final song that is on your demo. You guys know what song that is? October Night. October, October Night. Night. Okay, yeah. do you guys want to speak about that song before we get into it? It's a very How that came about? Song. It's very, a very, very moody. Song. It's about October. Mm-hmm. No, it's we wrote it in November. Oh. Which it is was weird. The, whole, <laughs> the whole thing, it's just, just you know about going through a relationship with somebody over a couple of years and going through all the different motions of trying, to, why would you want to hold on to the relationship or why should you let it go? And uh, So it's basically basically about love and loss. Yeah, just like almost and dealing with it. Songs. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. It's a fun song to play. And those though. cold it's fall nights. Yeah, it's yeah. good to sit in front of a fire and listen to. Yeah. Okay. That's and October is one of my favorite months, so. Yeah. Halloween, I particularly man. like the, the. Seems the a lot title. of people like October. Yeah, I like think, I like November. Okay. It's all right. Weird. Okay. No, it's because there's birthday. a lot of food. Yeah. Oh, oh, food. Thanksgiving. All right. Tacos. Food every day. I love tacos, man. Rice, beans. <laughs> Stuff tacos. Viva la Hispanic. How long did it take you to write this song, Franco? Uh, well, I was at the, I was in a renaissance fair in Pennsylvania, and I was pretty much just staring into a goblet of fire. Not, no pun on Harry Potter there, but, um. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really I was, catch that for yeah, a second. Yeah, no, I was looking, I was looking into it, and I just kind of was thinking about my past relationship, and he it kind of just flowed with in my a, head. With a human? No, actually with a robot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He was no. having a season <laughs> moment. You know? No, yeah, yeah, no, but I was, you know, spacing out, and I started typing the lyrics in my phone, and I got mm-hmm. home and finished it up, and. You know, about that night. It took, it's about a night. Paper and pencil. Man. You know, I was that's just gonna say that. Yeah. No, well, that, but that's where technology exactly. comes into yeah. good play. Especially at a right? rent fair, man. Yeah, yeah. busting out the yeah. cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know, right? At a rent fair. Yeah, it defeats all purposes. But when that Should stuff have comes wrote in your it head, into the, to the dirt. Yeah. 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 When that stuff comes in your head, though, you can't let it like, go. Yeah. Grab a twig or something, burn it into your arm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that that works, Randy. Now we're a bunch of witches. Okay, so another question before I get into it: When you write the song, mm-hmm. do you you bring it? Who do you bring it to first? Uh, I usually bring it to Marucci because uh-huh. he helps me out with all. He writes mainly the rest, but then we bring it to Tiago and Randy, and they bail the backbone for it. And then we have a song and we work on it, and it slowly becomes what it is. Does it take like one practice? Or? No. <laughs> sometimes mm-hmm. it's a process. I mean, sometimes he'll have everything ready, he, and we'll just come together and give opinions and work on it at the same time. Yeah, I mean, some, sometimes we'll I mean, have there's been ton- yeah. Sometimes ready. we've uh, we've knocked out some songs in like, like a day. And it, within an hour. Within an hour. Sometimes yeah. it, it's a two week long process just trying to develop the right feel and mold it. Yeah. And, it, and if it's not going the way you feel it when it's right, right? Yeah. 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 It's just, yeah. yeah. It has You'll to know. be the right thing. Mm-hmm. Right. You, you'll start We'll over all again. agree on it. Yeah. We'll, we'll kind of know when it hits the right. What if someone right doesn't tone. like it? Does it matter? Does oh. like a uh, majority mm-hmm. like, rule? We'll try, we'll try to work around it to see what we. Can do everybody change. has their input yeah. everybody has their input you know like we have to you work around what you like better. like let's say i put a different drum beat on here and i don't like it okay so i start trying out new things and, and as we practice the song or we just ax it you know <laughs> keep it hidden yeah pretty much we all put our have our input basically yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. that's good because with most bands i know it's usually the lead singer who has full control. Sometimes a guitarist. Sometimes, mm-hmm. you know. So it's good that um that you guys no, can. We're, we're all team players. The band that's, is pretty that's much. That's good. A, a that's good. Team. Okay. It's well, all for one. Ultron. 
Okay. Well, we'll get into uh, October nights. Uh, I hope you enjoy. We'll be right back with the end of our show. Ciao.